What is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do conditional formatting in Google Sheets. So far, I've put up a couple of videos on how to use Google Sheets, how to make things like this. Uh, I have a video where I walk through exactly how I do this. And in part of the video, I will show you the conditional formatting part, which is this. Uh, but if you don't have time to watch that entire video, which uh, you could click up in the right hand corner to watch it. Uh, I'm just going to show you right here exactly how to do it. That's all this video is going to be about conditional formatting. So let's zoom in here. I have a list of a bunch of uh, different stocks. Um, some of these I actually own uh, and then uh, other ones I don't. Pretty much all of these down here I don't own, but I just kind of put in some so we have a decent amount to play from. And we're pulling actual stock pricing. So you can see right here, we're pulling from Google Finance. So I have uh, all of the up-to-date price of these stocks. Then I just put in some random numbers, uh, what my buy price would be for these stocks. Again, just to use it for example's sake and show you exactly how conditional formatting works. So pretty much what conditional formatting does is it will read a cell. So say we take this cell. And we can tell it what to do depending on what's in the cell. If it's a certain text, if it's a certain number. So because we're all about the stock market on this channel, we wanna have it where it will be red if it's negative and green if it's positive. Now this is really helpful because this is live data. This data will change this spreadsheet right here is dynamic. So as these stocks go up and down, the cells should change colors depending on if it's positive or negative. Right now, Verizon is negative, but let's say, uh, I'm sorry, Visa, but let's say I bought it for a different price. Let's say I bought it for 195, then it would change to positive right there. Um, or let's just say the actual market price goes up or down, whatever the case might be. This is where conditional formatting is important. So it's very simple and pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this entire row, right? So I selected G or whatever row that you wanna select. I'm gonna right click and we're gonna go all the way down to conditional formatting. So we're gonna click on that. And then here you go. Everything turned green now because if the cell is not empty, then it's saying change the color to green. So that's why all of this is green and then down here there's nothing. We could say make it bold or make it italicized, whatever it is. But right now it's set to green. You could change that color, say you wanted it red, whatever it might be. But we're gonna stick with green and instead of not empty, we are going to select greater than. So we're gonna do greater than and the value zero. We hit enter. So now you can already see it working. Um, the dollar green gain, that cell is now blank because it's not a value, it's a word. So that doesn't fit this criteria. All of these do fit the criteria because they are greater than zero. But then you can see here's all of the negatives and everything in the negative is now not highlighted in green. So we're gonna hit done and we wanna go over to growth and we wanna do the same thing. So we are going to right click, conditional formatting and we're going to change this to greater than zero. We're going to make it the same green that I had as that one. You can have whatever color you want. You want blue, go for it. But there we go. So now you may think we're almost done. You already know what we have to do for the negative now, but there's a couple more things I need to show you. So just watch until the end. There's some really neat stuff you could do with it. And then some tricky stuff that you might get messed up on uh, if you don't watch to the end. But before that, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, I got tons of videos on my channel and I'm gonna keep making more and more, trying to teach everyone how to invest in the stock market and make smart moves. And my goal is to make you rich. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get back to the video. So now what we wanna do is we wanna add another rule. So I'm gonna select G again, right? Looks out of that. You select G again, right click, go to conditional formatting. Here's our first rule, which we already have. You click on add another rule. Pretty simple stuff. Go here. We're not gonna select orange, we're gonna select red. If you want orange, go for it. But now instead of greater than, we're gonna do less than. Zero, hit enter, there we go. Now all of those are red. We're gonna go to H. 
do the exact same thing. So conditional formatting and let's X out of that. Go to conditional formatting, add a rule. We're going to select that red, not the text. You can change the text if you want. We're not going to do that. We're going to select that. Instead of not empty, we are going to do less than and change that to zero. And there you go. So there's that. It's pretty simple. And let's let's watch it go to work. So say we're using our visa example right here. Right now it's negative, but what if we bought it for a hundred dollars? See how it changes to positive now? Now they're positive. Change it back, now they're negative. So all of this will be dynamic and it'll update. And it's very easy because if you want to filter through everything, so let's uh, let's select all of these, throw a filter on. It just makes it very easy seeing, oh, okay, I can see which stocks are in the red. Let's change A to Z. Here you go, here's my worst stock, GE, then Ford, then AT&T. Um, where are my best stocks? Etsy, Shopify, Square. It just lays it out for you very nicely like that. Um, and it's very easy to see, okay, how many stocks are in the negative, how many stocks are in the positive. Because before conditional formatting, just looking at the raw numbers with no color coding, it's not as easy and it, 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 it hurts my eyes. So I don't know if it hurts your eyes, but there's one more thing I wanna show you with conditional formatting. Let's select them. We are going to go to conditional formatting one more time. Here's our rules for GH, GH, right? It's all right here. We're gonna add another rule. And what we're gonna do is, what if we wanna see everything that's under 50%? We want it an even darker red. We want something like that. So let's go to less than, then we do negative 50, okay? Now, you might already be thinking, hold on, why isn't it doing it? Because look, that's less than fit. Uh, sorry, that's less than fifty. That's less than fifty. Why isn't it showing up when we have the rule? Well, that's because the rule is underneath these two rules. So just like it's like layers. If you ever used Photoshop, uh, this is at the bottom layer. You want to bring this to the top layer, and then it changes those. But it doesn't change these because this is a percentage. So this isn't going to work if you have G1 and G and H1. Uh, if you have G and H selected. It's not gonna work. It'll only work for one. So we're gonna delete that and you gotta do it individually, okay? So we're gonna go to conditional formatting, add a rule, this is for G, okay? We're gonna do greater than, not greater than, we're gonna do less than, negative 50. We're gonna make this a really dark red so we could see it, hit done, and we gotta bring it to the top. There you go, so now we can see, oh, okay, less than 50 for all of these. We do the same thing for here, conditional formatting, add a rule, we're gonna do a dark red, we're gonna do less than, for this, negative 50 percent, let's see if that will work, if we do the percent, and there you go, now it pops up. So now we can see, we have one that's negative 50, for the dollar gain, I really wouldn't have this. I'd probably only have it for the percentage because it doesn't make sense to have it for the dollar gain. Um, but there, now we can see, okay, one is really in the negative. But just like the negative, we could have it on the upside too. So if we go to the very last one, add a rule. We want a really dark green like that. That's text again. Here we go. Really dark green. And instead of that, we're going to do greater than... We want to do greater than how about positive 50%. We're going to hit done. Got to bring this to the very top. There you go. Here's all the stocks that are positive 50. So again, this makes it very easy to see if you color code everything. Now I know, okay, I have one stock that's below 50%. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stocks that are above 50%. Conditional formatting is a great tool to add into your spreadsheets. Um, if you know how to use it, it just makes things a lot easier in my opinion. Here's my portfolio tracker. Let's zoom out a bit so we can see everything. It, it's very easy. I can see right away I have three stocks that are in the red right now. Intel had a nasty drop, which really annoys me, but I'm going to hold on to it um, because I still think it's a great company. 
Um, this isn't up to date. After hours, it's actually down negative 10% right now, but that's okay. I think they'll bounce back. Maybe I'll double down on it, but that's conditional formatting in a nutshell. It's a very easy thing to use, uh, but it, it really just gives your spreadsheets that extra flavor to it or just that extra appeal just so everything looks more visually uh, pleasing. It's easier on the eyes. It's easier to analyze the data that you have at a much quicker rate. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just drop it below in the comments. Again, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like uh, this video if it was helpful. Check out all my other videos. I got more videos on Google Sheets and how to do stuff like this. And then a whole bunch of other videos on the different programs I use, all that good stuff. Check it out. As always, guys, I will see you in the next one.